so you have a tankless water heater in your RV, right? But do you know how to use it correctly? As a tech, I've seen more complaints than I want to count of water heaters, tankless water heaters in specific, that don't work properly. Um, it's either not hot enough for them, the water doesn't last long enough, um, and that's most of the time because they're not being used properly. So I'm gonna show you that. But real quick, let's just kind of look at how they work. Look at this, I got one cracked wide open for you. So we'll ignore a bunch of the technical mumbo jumbo, essentially safety switches and stuff, and just go over the basic function. Cold water flows in here. This little thing here is going to tell the board that it is time to make some hot water once it detects flow. Once that happens, water is going to go through this heat exchanger. That propane burner is going to light. It is going to rapidly heat that water and then come out of the hot side. It's going to monitor that temperature so that you can have the desired temperature set from your control board. And that's where we get into how to use it properly. So with a tankless water heater, you're gonna set it and forget it. So you're gonna find your control board. Depending on the brand, it is going to look something like this. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but this one is set to 124 degrees. You can change that to your desired temperature, which means that you're not going to use the cold side of the shower. You're gonna turn the hot on. If it's not hot enough, turn the control board up. If it's too hot, turn the control board down. Don't mix with cold water to try and adjust the temperature. That's where you're overworking it and not getting the desired temperatures you're looking for. You're just gonna turn on the hot and sit, use the control board to control the temperature opposed to mixing them like you're used to on a typical setup, say in your house or on a tanked water heater. So in other words, turn on hot water and hot water only. If it's too hot, bring that board down, bring it to 110. Then the next time you take a shower, once you know your desired temperature, you set your temperature, go in the shower, turn it on, and it will keep the water at that temperature. And of course, the next best piece of advice I can give you is if you want more tips, tricks, and tours in an RV, from an RV technician, make sure you press that follow button.